Camilla Cabello, Camilla, but um, in their country, it is pronounced as Camilla Cabello. <laughs> And I get these uh, Spanish people, those Mexicans, which there's a way they pronounce their names, eh? Whereby for us in Uganda here, we pronounce them differently. Now, like, um, there is a Nigerian um, presenter I told you about last week, Toke Makinwa. When you say the name, it is Makinwa. But for them in Nigeria, like, they do pronounce it as Makinwa. There is a video of Olamide. Olamide and uh, Omale. It's an infinity, 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 infinity. Mm. There is a part where Olamide said, but they like to <laughs> You know yeah. that part? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the woman I'm talking about. So um, I told you about her last week, but then let me give you some kind of little info about her. That song of um, Infinity, um, Ol Olamide and um, Omale, mm. the guy that came in Uganda and got arrested. <laughs> But after, you know, leaving our, our prison cells, the guy got famous. The guy made hits. Banange. So, Toke Makinwa, I told you last week that um, she, you know, came out and told people some time back that she did surgery. Her body is a result of surgery. But then she did surgery because the husband, because well, she's a divorcee, she was once married, this guy was cheating on Toke Makinwa with his ex. Imagine. Hmm? Now, let me say... Just for example, me and Wafula are dating. Our Wafula is here, eh? of here. And then um, Wafula cheats on me with his ex. Imagine, as in you left her and dated me, then why would you cheat? You know, it's what, just... What, what. <laughs> <laughs> Once yours is always yours. Uh, what? Mm, once yours is No, always and yours. even to make, to make matters worse, eh, this guy even got infections. Women, eh, you know what I mean by infections. Eh? Mm. This guy, um, you know, brought in infections from the ex to Toke Makinwa. So this girl, Toke Makinwa, doesn't like marriage because she suffered. Moreover, she was dating this guy for like 13 years, even before Toke Makinwa like, like, like became a, a media star in Nigeria. She even... Um, audition for mtv base but they told her uh -uh, your looks are not mtv best looks and stuff like you know auditioning like 10 plus times then they just reject you now like you know when you come to here in deja university tv you do auditions but then they just reject you be like one well, man no wonder even the guy is cheating on me no wonder medias are not giving me you know presenting jobs maybe because i'm looking bad so, so she went she decided to she upgrade, decided to upgrade. <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> she upgraded. Mm. But her body is not even that good. Eh? But if you go and see her throwback looks, banage, indeed. Upgrading his look uh, is good. Welcome onto the show. <laughs> yeah, I'm fresh back the show. Yes, DJ I'm all bad up. Yeah, stop being nervous. Are you mm. The vibe is high. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm always happy when I think about, um, you know, coming here, interacting with you guys, informing you, having fun and mm. everything. Mm. The Fresh Vibes airs every Friday, yeah. 4 p.m. Mm. Yeah, just like, you know, I Nana. think this could be a special Friday because it's a festival of the Oh, month. by yeah. the way, mm. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it being the, the first Friday of this month, mm. it is 2nd of December, yeah. the year is almost coming to one end, mm. but then yesterday, 1st December was World AIDS Day. Mm. Oh my goodness, I just even don't want to talk about this because it is very saddening, <laughs> but guys, you know, be conscious. It, I know it is good, eh? <laughs> we have to enjoy, but um, endeavor oh, uh, to yeah. have, you know, endeavor to have, like, uh, you know, protection. Mm. Mm you know go for testing because aids is not good and aids is real do you know that mm. i don't know where you people get them this propaganda of eh? but you might be lucky and you you know have intercourse with a person that is positive and you don't get infected i don't trust you. there is someone that is you know you know, saying that propaganda, but it is not true. If you, you know, have intercourse with a positive person, unprotected, you will definitely, you know, get, you know, that the, the, the infection, the HIV. But then I'm stubborn, Nara Sayuji and his DJ bone. We told you that already. Yeah, and yeah. even, and even, you know. <laughs> but then we tell you our names just in case there is a new viewer. 
and then they be like, eh, hey, who is this girl and this boy? The show is good, the show is fun, and Vichy, who are they? Yeah. Stabbe Narase, DJ Boni. Welcome to the Fresh Vibes, Friday 4 p.m., Saturday 12 p.m., and Tuesday 10 a.m. I have a lot in stock for you, the lovers of hip-hop, just like me. I'm a hip-hop girl. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm a hip-hop girl. I'm a rap girl. I love music. I love... I have something for you. Just keep it fresh vibes here on Indeja University TV. I love you so much. Just a uh, short musical break and then I come back. Don't worry, even if they take your man. We have so many men. You can get any that you want. <laughs> Welcome to the celebrity nitty gritty. Nitty gritty is all about um, telling you what is happening in your celebrities world. You know those nitty gritties, eh? those but detail details, you know. So I told you some time back that um, Victor Kamenyo and the girlfriend, uh, one Ruth, they were having some issues in the media. You're cheating on me, your phone. But then guess what? These guys are back together. Just like I'm just Teddy and Primaka Dash. <laughs> you know, that, uh, that really shows you that um, when lovers are having issues, just <coughs> be mute. Because whatever you say during their um, like, uh, like, like disagreements, will be used against you when they get back together. And then you become the bad one. So whenever lovers are having issues, just mm. <coughs> play at death. Funga yeah. mudomo. <laughs> Funga mudomo. <laughs> yeah. And then also Prima Asimwe, she's a radio personality. She works on radio. Um, she, she came out yesterday and informed us that um, ladies um, ensure that you test your breasts, your boobs. Eh? You know these things are very precious. But if you don't, you know, take a good care of them, they, they you know, they, they get infected. So she, she told us that um, the last few days have not been easy. Long story short, ladies, check your boobs often. Um, touch, feel for anything that feels unusual, and go see a breast specialist real quick. I can't even emphasize it enough. Check your boobs. Go get checked. You know, boobs can get cancer. And even there are other, you know, conditions that may affect the boobs. And even, you know, putting on so tight bras, you know, all all this brings issues to our boobs. You may say that um, Prima Simwe, you know, doesn't wear your bras and stuff. You know, she has, you know, small gundi knees. But then, whether you put on bras or you don't put on bras, you just have to get your boobs checked, like, literally every now and then. Not only the boobs, even the general body. Um, ladies, even men, go, you know, go make scans, like they scan your body and see how your organs are doing inside because here on the outlook you might be very perfect and like eh see now one number but inside when you is dying badly so make sure after the show go to your nearest um clinic or health center and get tested or checked moving on to international before you go to this um, favorite story of mine let me tell you about um a one a one um james brownie's sister um, this remember James James Brown was a man but turned into a woman. <laughs> I can't say that that term on air, but she was a, a man and turned into a woman. So the sister um, Gloria Brown was like, I'm I'm think I'm going to start looking after my family since James now be, became the woman. Let me be the man and and you know and look after the James family. That's uh, that's from Nigeria. So moving out to America, Forbes um, gave us a list of 30 under 30. This is a list where they um, credit, you know, 30 people under the age of 30 that are making a difference or that are making an impact in the world, from entertainment to business to technology to what else to etc. So the the good thing is that um, Megan the Stallion was um, was on the cover of this Forbes under th 30 under 30, and she's the first black woman to be on this cover. Not even Beyonce has been on it. Not even Rihanna. Not even which are the black Oprah Gundini. 
we, like we have quite a number of you know some black strong women eh? but Megan the stallion is the first to be on the cover as you see on the screen and that is very good news um in an interview with um Forbes she said that um, she's not ready to quit. She will quit after dying. She was like, I can't slow down right now. I'll take a break when I'm dead. That's very good. Um, still about Megan Thee Stallion. Megan Thee Stallion is dating another rapper called Paddison Fountain. Well, this guy apparently is my best rapper right now. Um, producer, that couple of um, the man and the woman, yeah, that's the photo, and that's Paddison Fountain. Paddison Fountain, in case you don't know him, he's the guy that sang backing it up with Cardi B. Hmm? You can go and check it out. It is very nice. This guy has written songs for most of the rappers. Like, he's a ghost writer for most of the rappers, like Kanye West, Cardi B, Nas. Even um, he posted the photo on Instagram days back. He was like, damn, where you been? Then in the comments, people were like, but yeah, I'm Paddy. Because Paddy son, in short, it is Paddy. Paddy, give us some new music. He, what, what's, what manga? You're so quiet. Which, yeah, people were like, he's not quiet. He's writing for Cardi B. <laughs> so if you want to know anything new from Paddy son, go listen to Cardi B's new songs like um, Hot. <clears throat> so that word, I can't say it on air. With, um, with, with, um, it's Cardi B and Kanye West. And also even um, Hailey Bieber, that is Justin Bieber's wife, Hailey, Hailey Baldwin Bieber, was also in this li on this list of Forbes 30 under 30. And that is very good news for us, as the young women, because you can also make it when you're under 30 most of you are waiting to be 35 or 40 to feel like you've made it no this list gives you that uh, motivation or confidence in yourself that you can do it and even they do not segregate even blacks are put on this list and i've told you megan the stallion was is the first black woman to be on this cover so go chase your dreams step the is my name i'm here with dj bonnie that has been Rugambo, eh? telling you what is in the celebrities' world. Let's go just for sh uh, a short break, and then I come back. I still have a lot, Banange, to share with you. I even just pray, Banange, that management adds us some time. <laughs> Thank you for watching Fresh Vibes. Just still watching Fresh Vibes. They show that airs every Friday 4 p.m., Saturday 12 p.m., and Tuesday 10 a.m. It is a teen youth entertainment show. So the teenagers, the youths, we got you covered. And I'm you know, Stephen Nara say the Stardom Empress. You can call me Nakis, her Empress, thus the Stardom Empress and my fan empire or my fans group name is stardom stars because i'm stubborn i say my fans have to be my shining stars oh wait i say yes you would not take them so my fans are my shining stars thus our empire is the stardom therefore if you is my fan you is my stardom star mm. you getting it Mm. Wow, <laughs> uh, that was uh, the fashion. Let me hope that, that um, you've got something from it because, you know, by the way, guys, do you know that when you're dressed well, you feel confident, eh? you feel like you're on top of the world. And let me tell you something. For as long as you take time to think about the, what you're going to put on, if anyone outside says you're not smart, the clothes are cheap, be like, nah, that is your opinion, not my opinion. For as long as you feel like, yeah, I'm looking good, whatever anyone says is background noise. Talking about background noise, Banange, before I take you for the cinema plug, movie review. Um, have you guys seen um, this thing trending about our one precious Remy? She's a TV presenter. She has ever worked on radio, I think. So apparently in Imbu, people abused the mom that she's old. And then, you know, she came out, you know, in front of cameras and was, you know, quarreling. How dare you abuse my mother? She's old. She's my weakness. She's my precious gift. I can die with anyone. No, if you talk about my mother, I can. Uh, 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 hey! It was a lot. But then, in my own opinion, Obukadebulunji, by the way, you guys, I pray every day for my parents to live that long up to the age of Precious Remy's mother. I think she's in like 
No, ati tayari yombe. Actually, when people say your dad, your mom is old, just be happy and say alhamdulillah yeah. because people die young. Well, we saw one engineer but about an accident to railway. They were, it was a very young couple. Did you see that footage? Mm. They were like 20. So people are dying young. Babies are dying. But Allah has given your mama a chance to live up to 90s. My dear, Allah, I pray every day. Awangaze bazade bage to that age. Ela insha Allah kataba jitu kako. Nebo no gamba, your dad is old dear. Kanyanya wrinkles, I'll be like, uh uh background noise i prayed for this so chibate chinja and people will talk people talk every day now let me tell you guys people talk them do lipi lipi and chat chat wange mkama mkama wange that's part of it lipi lipi party party is what them do lipi lipi and chat chat kati now this show has um a black american because me i'm all about um black american street english you was we is and this one is all about patu patu patwa <laughs> so you have a uh, black American guy, girl here, and a uh, Jamaican over here. Whatever, we are versatile, you know? <laughs> so I was telling you, people talk, whether you do good or bad, people are still going to talk. So just do what you want. Make sure you're happy. Be a free soul. Be a free spirit. I don't care. Because first of all, I know Allah loves me. And let me tell you this. People can convince themselves to hate you. But they can't convince Allah to hate you. Mm, true. They can't convince Allah to stop blessing you. Mm. <laughs> me, I hear deaf and I see blind. Wow! Yeah, that's <laughs> I hear deaf and I see blind. Yeah. Yeah, just move on. They will keep on talking because they will get a. They might just choose a lava mugambe. Stabbe is a bad girl. No. It will be just a mumbo. So, whatever yeah. they do, for as long as you pray, for as long as you put Allah first, don't care about any what anyone says. But now, you don't have to get it. <laughs> but I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just happy. Life is good. I'm moving on. And for them, they are, they are choking. Mm. So, and by the way, I will get a covenant to heal. Your wounds are showing and your insecurities are growing stronger. So, heal. Let's go in a way. I'll come back to you. <laughs> Let me take you for the movie review. Today I'm going to give you the, the take down. It is a 2022 movie. Uh -huh. Osmond and Frank Hoyce are two cops with very different styles. The unlikely pair are, reun uh, are reunited once again for a new investigation. What seemed to be a simple drug deal turns out to be a high scale criminal case wrapped in danger. Wow, this is very interesting. Just see the trailer. So we know you people can talk a lot. When you see a person maybe having um, a bigger stomach than the normal size, when you see someone looking, you know, kind of different from how they look every day, you start talking. But you don't know what this person is going through. I forgot to tell you that um, some weeks back, Jennifer Aniston, she's a... Uh, She's an American actress. She came out um, recently and told us about her struggle with IVF. Like, um, she's about giving birth, like, struggling with them, um, getting pregnant and stuff. So I see you people um, asking, you know, the public figures, when are you getting pregnant? But you don't know what this person is going through privately. When they be um, in their bedrooms, on their, you know, on their, peop on their pillow, you like you don't you like you don't know how much they cry. So still about that um <coughs> Hailey Bieber told us um that um she had an ovary cyst and people were like, Hey, your stomach is growing big. Are, are you going to give us like a junior Justin Bieber? Remember she's Justin Bieber's wife. So Munanga she told us like she she gave us a photo showing us her stomach. It her it was ballooned. She was like um I, t I tested and I and I have uh, an ovary cyst. It is not endometriosis. It is not um, appendicitis. It is not what. It is not pregnancy. But it is a cyst. And um, this cyst was a uh, was a uh, was of a size of an apple. Like it was big. So people were assumed maybe she was pregnant. But no, she was struggling. And this is not the first time she's experiencing this. She has had this um, for quite some time. And she was like, it is not funny. 
um, still about um, such conditions and you people judging these public figures. Chloe Kardashian even has a, a certain skin condition because you people think that because these are public figures, you know, like you know them, you know what, like, like um, what they do every day, you think they don't experience struggles privately or personally. Chloe Kardashian has a skin, um, a skin condition whereby she gets blisters or buzimba one who could cheeks like every now and then and um some um some time back she was um having a plaster on this cheek and people were like, cheek a tama <laughs> and people Hi. and people were like <laughs> and people were like i'm chloe why are you putting on a plaster is it swag is it what she was like you guys i have a, a skin condition but my doctor is trying so hard you know to treat it um that's what i wanted to tell you um thank you guys um for keeping your messages coming on that number that is on the screen this one was like um please drop me young dumb broke by khalid hi it's part of please play for me send my name by baby rexa oh baby rexa is lost hi you are so pretty um pauline candy drop me in kulina by joey i think landa i goes it goes out to my boyfriend thanks for the show hi i'm pretty kindly hi i'm pretty kindly drop me we get love by dan dan williams don williams dan williams don hmm um, yeah, guys, kindly drop me plenty by Banner Boy, Red Flag by Ruga. Love you, my best DJ and presenter. Hello, you are fine. Oh, sorry. Hello, hope you are fine. I want to be part of your oh, of your show. So dope. My name is Shinaya from Duwok. Okay. But then we shall be, you know, telling you how you can join our WhatsApp group, which we is creating so soon. So stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, it has been the Fresh Vibes show. Banange. People that run, how do they do it? All about to come from here to there, and you feel like you can't even talk, Bulunji. Eh, I'm all panting. You know when you're so happy, eh? When you get a job and a vibe where you are good, you got what people from Bulunji. But anyway, regardless, we move. You have to be happy every day. Happiness is good. Let me remind you, whatever you is doing, make sure you is happy and do what you live, as in love, not live. Um, on my outfit, it is Mary's closet. You can get her at Nankulabye. As you slope from um, Nankulabye lights, <laughs> you can get her on 0700257877 i repeat 0700257877 it is a two piece and you can put any accessory you wanna you know put or, or use that Bye -bye. day this is a very good outfit but now nah, okay. ah, producer and the movie mm. say hi bye bye to the mm, it's been a good show Stay locked in. Big things are coming in. Bye-bye. Uh, my producer, Sharon's Media, Jess on the camera, Wafula, DJ Derek is coming up with Vasti Express, and Summer, DJ Summer, will be coming up at 7 with um, Link, and even Coast to Coast at 10, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Have a very good night. Show. What do you say? <laughs>